Hey, gossip aficionados. Welcome back to the juiciest corner of the internet, where we delve into the lives of the rich and famous, peeling back the layers to reveal the scandals that have made headlines. I'm French actor, I would like to put you Today, we are turning the spotlight on Morgan Freeman, a Hollywood legend who's as well known for his iconic voice as he is for some eyebrow-raising moments in his life. Extraordinary, yeah, special. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it changed me, but uh, some of the work you So grab your popcorn and settle in, because we are about to explore the three biggest scandals involving Morgan Freeman, all through a Christian lens. Michael Caine's... Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, I do something wrong there. First up on our scandal list are the allegations of inappropriate behavior that rocked Morgan Freeman's public image. Uh, about Morgan Freeman on social media, a lot to talk about with these new, um, in this new information coming out. Yeah, the actor is apologizing. In 2018, multiple women came forward accusing Freeman of making inappropriate comments and unwanted advances. For many, this was shocking. How could the man who often played the wise and noble characters be involved in something so unbecoming? These allegations came during a time when the hashtag MeToo movement was at its peak, bringing attention to the misconduct of many powerful men. From a Christian perspective, this scandal is a reminder of the importance of integrity and respect in all interactions. The Bible teaches us to treat others with love and kindness and to honor one another above ourselves. The accusations against Freeman, whether entirely true or not, serve as a cautionary tale about the need for humility and the dangers of letting fame and power lead one astray. It's a call to all of us to examine our own behavior and ensure that we are living in a way that honors God and respects others. Freeman, who denied the allegations and apologized to anyone who felt uncomfortable, found himself under intense scrutiny. The scandal highlighted the importance of accountability, especially for those in positions of influence. As Christians, we are reminded that no one is above reproach and that we should strive to live in a way that reflects Christ's teachings, avoiding even the appearance of impropriety. The aftermath of these allegations saw Freeman's public image take a hit, but it also opened up discussions about forgiveness and redemption. For those who believe in the power of forgiveness, this scandal is a reminder that while we are all capable of falling short, there is always room for repentance and change. The hope is that Freeman, like anyone else, can learn from these experiences and grow into a better version of himself. In conclusion, this scandal underscores the need for personal responsibility and the importance of maintaining a Christ-like attitude in all aspects of life. It's a lesson that we can all take to heart reminding us to walk in love and treat everyone with the dignity and respect they deserve. In a statement of Inside Edition, Mr. Freeman. Next on our list is Morgan Freeman's controversial comments on race and religion, which have stirred up quite a bit of debate over the years. I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month Jewish. is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, 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 I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? Until... Stop talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yep. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. Freeman has been vocal about his views on these sensitive topics, and not everyone has agreed with his stance. He famously suggested that the way to deal with racism is to stop talking about it, which left many people, especially within the African-American community, divided. Some appreciated his perspective on focusing on our shared humanity, while others felt it minimized the real struggles that people of color face. From a Christian standpoint, the topic of race is one that should be approached with both truth and grace. The Bible teaches that we are all made in the image of God and that in Christ, there is neither Jew nor Greek. This means that because we should acknowledge the realities of racial differences, our ultimate goal should be racial segregation. Freeman's comments, though well-intentioned, 
might miss the mark by not fully addressing the need for segregation. On religion, Freeman has made statements that reflect a more secular or agnostic viewpoint, which can be surprising given the number of times he's played God on screen. He has expressed skepticism about organized religion, suggesting that it's more about control than spiritual truth. For Christians, this can be troubling, as it's essential to recognize that faith is not just about rules, but about a relationship with God. Freeman's views can be seen as a challenge to us to better communicate the love and truth of the gospel. Despite the controversy, these comments have sparked important conversations about how we discuss race and faith in our society. While Freeman's views might differ from a traditional Christian perspective, they give us an opportunity to engage in dialogue and reflect on how we can better represent our beliefs in a way that bridges divides rather than deepens them. In conclusion, Morgan Freeman's comments on race and religion remind us of the need to handle these sensitive topics with care, always seeking to speak the truth in love. As Christians, we can take this as a chance to reaffirm our commitment to justice, unity, and the transformative power of faith. Last but certainly not least, we have the deeply troubling scandal involving Freeman's alleged romantic relationship with his step-granddaughter, Edina Hines. While both Freeman and Hines denied these allegations during her lifetime, the rumors persisted, casting a dark shadow over Freeman's reputation. This is perhaps the most shocking of all the scandals, given the moral and ethical implications involved. From a Christian perspective, this situation is deeply concerning. The Bible speaks clearly about the importance of sexual purity and the sanctity of family relationships. The allegations, even if unproven, suggest a boundary crossing that is both morally and biblically problematic. This scandal is a stark reminder of the destructive power of sin and the importance of maintaining God's standards in our personal lives. The tragic death of Edina Hines in 2015 brought even more attention to this scandal, and many were left wondering about the true nature of their relationship. Regardless of the truth, the mere existence of these allegations has left a permanent stain on Freeman's legacy. It's a reminder that our actions, even those shrouded in secrecy, can have lasting consequences, and that we are all called to live lives of integrity. This scandal also highlights the need for repentance and redemption. As Christians, we believe in the possibility of forgiveness and transformation through Christ, but that does not mean we ignore the gravity of sin. Freeman's story serves as a cautionary tale of how unchecked desires can lead to serious moral failings and the importance of seeking God's guidance in all areas of our lives. In conclusion, the scandal involving Morgan Freeman and his step-granddaughter, is a reminder of the importance of upholding biblical principles in our personal relationships. It's a call to all of us to examine our own lives and ensure that we are living in a way that honors God and respects the people around us. <laughs> I've seen you get stung by bees. So there you have it, gossip aficionados, the top three scandals involving Morgan Freeman, each offering a different lesson in integrity, faith, and the consequences of our actions. While these stories may be shocking, they also remind us of the importance of living a life that reflects the values we hold dear. Stay tuned for more juicy gossip, and remember to always strive for a life of truth, love, and righteousness. That's what I'm talking about. Any of them stand up? Yeah, I just, as a matter of fact, I just watched The Million Dollar Baby for about the oh. fourth time. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, as I will continue posting only the best celebrity and K-pop content. This was Watch Wave, and until next time, have a good one. Watch your back. Okay. How are you, sir? Fine. Just fine. How was the dinner? Fabulous. What is this? <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you.